Hello everyone, my name is Vishwa from Sapiens Education and now we will be solving this question. It can take 12 hours to fill a swimming pool using two pipes and one of the pipe is of larger diameter, one of the pipe is of smaller diameter. So let us assume it takes x hours for the larger pipe and y hours for smaller pipe to fill the pool separately. So if you use only the larger pipe, it will take x hours for and if you use only the smaller pipe, it will take y hours for the pool to get completely filled. Now, it's given it takes 12 hours if we use both the pipes together. If we use both the pipe together, it will take 12 hours. Now, we can write it as an equation like this. So, in it together, they will take 12 hours. But let's consider only the first hour. We just turned on the larger pipe and in one hour how much of the pool will be filled so in x hours one pool is filled so in one hour in order to break make one here we should take the x to the left hand side and if you take it to the left hand side it will become one by x so one by x of the pool will be filled in one hour so we can write the equation using this concept like this in one hour x pipe will fill 1 by x of the pool and the y pipe will fill similarly 1 by y of the pool 1 by of y of the pool will be filled in one hour but together how much will they fill in one hour so it takes 12 hours for one pool so in one hour it should fill 1 by 12th of the pool so 1 by x plus 1 by y must be equal to 1 by 12. We will call this first equation. Now it's given if larger pipe is used for 4 hours. So in 1 hour larger pipe will fill 1 by x. So in 4 hours it should fill 4 by x. And the smaller pipe is used for 9 hours. In 1 hour smaller pipe fills 1 by y. So in 9 hours it should be 9 by y. And then it will fill only half of the pool. That is the second equation. Now, in order to eliminate any one of the variable, we need to make the coefficient of x common. So, here coefficient of x we can consider it as uh, 4. So, in order to bring coefficient as 4, we can multiply first equation, the entire equation with 4. So, we will get 4 by x plus 4 by y equal to 4 by 12. Now we can subtract this equation, second equation minus first equation. So let us change the signs. 4 by x minus 4 by x will be 0 and we have plus 9 by y and we have minus 4 by y equal to 1 by 2 minus 4 by 12. 4 by 12 we can cancel 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 4 by 12 can be written as 1 by 3. So the entire equation becomes like this. 9 minus 4 divided by y. Since the coefficient, since the denominator is common for both of these terms, we can write it as 9 minus 4 and divided by y and that is equal to 1 by 2 minus 4 by 12 became 1 by 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. So 5 by y equal to 3 minus 2 by 3 times 2, 6. So 5 by y equal to 1 by 6. Take y this side and 6 this side. So we will get 5 into 6 equal to y. So y is equal to 30 hertz. If we use only the smaller pipe, it will take 30 hertz for the entire swimming pool to get filled. Now to get the value of x, we can substitute the value of y in the first equation. The first equation will become 1 by x plus 1 by y, but y value is 30. It is equal to 1 by 12. 
so 1 by x equal to 1 by 12 minus 1 by 30 1 by x equal to lcm of 12 and 30 will be 60 so 1 by 12 into 5 by 5 minus 1 by 30 into 2 by 2 equal to 5 by 12 times 5 60 minus 2 by 30 times 2 and another 60 so 1 by x is equal to 5 minus 2 is 3 3 by 60 3 times 2 is 60 so 1 by x is 1 by 20 meaning x is equal to 20 hours so these are the answers for this question 20 hours and 30 hours So larger pipe alone will take 20 hours and smaller pipe alone will take 30 hours. That is the final answer for this question. If you have any doubts in this question, feel free to discuss in the comment section below. Thank you.